Yeah. Okay, great. So it's here in the classrooms where the pandemic's devastation can be felt and education interrupted with long lasting damage. Now, to minimize disruption, 12 to 15 year olds are being told they can and should take the COVID vaccine. So parents understandably have a mixture of views. It was interesting Head teacher Elroy Cahill tells me parents are divided and conflicted. We certainly encourage parents to make an informed choice, um, certainly from the perspective of keeping education going as, as normal as possible. I think vaccination is certainly welcomed. Uh, we're very mindful that we've had significant disruption over the last two years uh, to young people's education and what we want is students in every classroom get an excellent education every lesson every day. The children here are understandably as divided as their parents. I can't afford to miss any time off school because of COVID and I don't think anyone else in our year can. So I feel like it would be very, it would be so much more beneficial if our year and our age group took the vaccine. Despite being vaccinated, you could still get COVID. So it's just a risk I'm not willing to take. The recommendation from the UK's chief medical officers is that children aged between 12 and 15 can be offered a single dose of the Pfizer jab. Their decision comes after the JCVI reported there would only be marginal gains in children's health if they took the vaccine. These two are not in conflict and what we've done is we've added in some wider considerations as JCVR suggested and we're, you know, I don't think in, in, in our view, certainly as Chief Medical Officers and uh, Professor Lim may want to comment as Chair of JCVR, we do not see a conflict between these. The CMO says there is no division but instead he's looked at the wider impact of Covid's disruption to school life. Do you, Professor Whitty, regret the way this is being communicated? What we would really regret, and uh, I, I want to be you know, really clear about this, is getting the decision wrong. In this situation, it is a more difficult one, and I think it is appropriate, therefore, that people have taken longer to get to this and to make sure we weighed all the different elements up to get this, uh, this right. I think it was entirely appropriate that we uh, offered the advice to uh, the Secretary of State and we communicated that advice to the public so people understood uh, where JCVI stood it may now fall to people like Dr Whitaker to allay parental concerns. is isn't the first new vaccine that's been introduced that parents have had concerns about. Um, and our job has always been to interpret the evidence that we have and make sure that whoever makes a decision, and it should be a joint decision for that young person and their parents, that they understand what the benefits are and what the risks are, both to themselves and perhaps to their family and their individual circumstances. The decision to vaccinate will fall to parents and, rightly, their children. After all, we're told it's a difficult decision taken to safeguard their futures. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.